Hello everyone, Lord of Flames here. Yes, and it's been a week since I make another video, which I delayed those because, or didn't start making because I was concentrating and focusing on getting that one drive recovered, but it failed, so I just had to start over of making another project, which really sucks. And you know what those are exactly, which are very, very important for next month. But anyways, here we'll start a review, which I'll go with two movies that are in Minecraft. Which I'll go one first is Demonic by Dark Films Productions. Mm hmm we're going for another Dark Films Productions movie review, folks. Yes. And this one is a continuation of the previous one, which I forgot to name with, but I think about going back to it, or I just show the poster right now. There. But anyways, Demonic is a sequel, and it doesn't call like the goes with a number two, so it's just called Demonic. So if there's going to be a continuation or whatnot, you just give it a different name. I mean, I go with that too because so it's nice. I go goes with different names without having a number at the end. But anyways, it's still a horror movie, but each soundtrack were added in the movie are just making it feel not feel so scary enough. When I saw it, I just um yeah, like it's fine, but it doesn't give like spooks. Just like how I remember while watching Halloween Kills, which that movie ended up badly. The movie is really, really good. And to say, the character's development, they're really good as well. Like, I don't know who is the person who made the characters or developed them, which, in their concept, you did really good. Which, of course, is Dark Films. Our main character, his name is Daryl Bradley, who is mostly a detective or officer, probably detective. And he has a family, a wife, and a, and a daughter. And after the event of the previous movie, when Jessica somehow was killed by a SWAT team, and didn't go crazy for some, for some reason, the priest somehow got killed by an unknown figure, which, that looks like no. Of course, you you had to use a black skin to uh, hit in the, whoever is behind the face or whoever it is killing the priest or whoever is behind the slaughters. <laughs> but anyways, Daryl is mostly still figuring things out what is going on. Like even we want to know what's going on too. It's like we actually are the main character who wants to know what's what's going on from the, since the previous movie until we figure something out. Another twist, which is a little bit of references or inspired to Jigsaw. Have you folks remember watching Jigsaw? I know you all do. Which is where that scene where one of the female characters, I forgot her, I forgot her name because it's been years since I last watched that movie, uh, where she killed her own baby and sent her husband to jail to, to blame on him or frame or not. And he goes nuts and suicide him by hanging. And that scene was used again in this movie. I know what you're getting in there, Dark Films. I know what you're getting in so many in so many references. Like, come on. Um. Yeah, like that was the twist. Like, I don't think the previous movie. Wait, 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 wait. Like, I do remember like each timelines you had to make. Like the flashback scenes in this movie for Jessica killing her baby and sent her husband or frame him. That happened before the event of the first movie. Until the demon somehow captured gets to her. And now for some reason Daryl's family had been um, stalked or somehow being, being killed by that, that similar figure. Until Daryl was sent to jail, and who, for some reason, that's one scene where they thought that was Daryl, but it was a demon who just disguised at him and killed him. Very sneaky for that demon right there. Very good way. And while he was in jail, um, 
one of our other characters, Heather, which I think that's her, when she was trying to be the, an awesome character, that uh, I truly like her. Like, she's probably the best character in this movie, who wants to know everything, until her husband can killed by her, which is not actually Heather, which is a demon who disguises as Heather. Very good way! And she didn't get sent to jail because she wasn't like the, the SWAT team or the police didn't get there or not. And she needs help from Daryl if he knows something from last time. Until Heather was somehow sent into a reference to Silent Hill. You know, the dissolves transition scene to the room becoming so dusted and becoming a, a destroy old, crippled room. Silent Hill style. And she meets the villain of this movie. Jessica! Somehow she's behind this old time. Like, what? Why did it happen in the previous movie? Like, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I try to theorize it, but it's still confusing. It's like you tried to solve a puzzle, but you couldn't get it right. It's like those puzzles that were even part of that set. And she was actually working a cult. Well, mostly a demon for a cult to, uh, well, maybe not cult, but probably to set up a ritual. Probably to release that demon. Which, that's something, like, I remember that one thumbnail from the previous movie shows wings, like demonic wings, behind that, behind Jessica. Maybe that was her, but no. She was actually setting up a ritual so she can free or release that demon into our world. And I don't know what happened if do like a what if scenario if that happened. <laughs> or an alternative ending in the script that didn't happen. Until Heather was about to make a thing about that she's about to shoot a clone of her like it was Evil Jessica disguising as her. But for some reason, when she just shoot at it, it somehow kills her. Because you know what happened? Like, to think of it, if Jessica or whatever it was, that black figure disguised as anyone, you shoot at the mirror of yourself. Which you die from it at the same time. So that's a very good ability, a trick for that demon right there. Very good way, or maybe it was Jessica. The, that one SWAT member managed to uh, sh shoot Jessica's hand almost when she was almost about to have the ritual started. When she was about to kill Daryl, she lost her hand, and the, the, the demon just got pissed off when she just failed the ritual. It just <laughs> smack her, <laughs> or just hit punch her. I just laugh at that scene right there. Like it's kind of a little bit funny. <laughs> but that part almost reminds me of another thing, but maybe not another, maybe not another references, probably to Star Wars Last Jedi with with Supreme Leader Snow confronts Kylo that he's not doing it right. But it's similar to Demonic who sees Jessica as a failure. Just like Kylo Ren fails last time in Force Awakens. So something like that, I guess. He runs out of there until Wow, a freaking car, a police car, perhaps just here. I just laugh at that too. <laughs> I don't know if this is supposed to be a horror movie or action or funny. Like, what is this? I just laugh at that scene right there too. And she gives one last glance at Daryl, probably with a glance of anger or hatred. Until she's dead, for real, twice. Like, how the heck do you survive from last time? Like, what? Okay. The movie is really good, but it's so confusing. It's really confusing and a little bit funny. I see a lot of seems some references of the movie to others. And, of course, I forgot to reference it to one of those scenes. Was it the jailbreak scene while Daryl was being taken? While everybody somehow goes nuts and can kill one another. Reference to Let There Be Carnage in Venom 2 movie. And probably another one, Halloween Kills, we're in a hospital where everybody just go nuts, 
Just because in Halloween Kills, that one in Patient Asylum just makes everyone go nuts to think that was Michael. Maybe that's a little bit of spoilers right there. Maybe not. I don't know. But anyways. Uh, I was a little confused. Like, like with that one scene. Like, maybe because, like, poor police officers had no choice but to do it that way to kill the prisoners? I don't know. That's the right thing in, in the law or whatever you call it. That police shoot them? I don't know. Or it's just demonic entity that makes them kill one another. Like, what type of ability this demon had? You guess? <sighs> I hope there was a hope there's going to be a behind the scenes of this movie that explains the concept of this demon or what of its abilities or what Jessica's abilities has. Like, what? What? <laughs> Anyways, um, it's a really good movie. I give 10 out of 10. Because I still support Dark Films Productions channel. I really do. And it's a little bit funny for some scenes. Because I don't know if this is supposed to be a scary movie or a comedy movie. But still, it's a really good movie. And let's get with the other movie. And now, we're going for the next review. Which is called Super Stitchins. Which I think I got that right. Which is by Emerald Productions. And the way out this was filmed is really good, really good. And now you finally got voice actors to be part of this film. And some point, the cast in this movie are really good. Like they did good on acting in this one. I mean the main character sounds really good for once. Uh well this movie is something in a darker way, but it's a little bit Comedy. Because there's that one scene about <laughs> talking about a guy who sneezes until some two guys behind him say, He sneezes! Get the boys! And they just beat him up. Like, <laughs> am I supposed to. Am I watching a horror movie or this is a comedy movie? Like, horror movies probably do have some little bit of comedy scenes, but I think it's just a little bit too much to make things too funny. But I laughed at it. <laughs> After Kate's father was dead and buried, but he was buried at Kate's house, and um, well, some problems for her not believing things and and not having the coffin one. And there was um, for some reason, it somehow angered the spirit, Kate's father, in some way. Until after she leaves the restaurant with her, out, leaving her friends, she's being haunted by her father. She just doesn't believe things and she doesn't believe her friends' warnings were not of a consequence. And she doesn't give a crap. She doesn't, she's, she's being that person who doesn't believe in things. Like, you folks don't believe like the Wendigos or urban legends like Bigfoot or aliens. It's hard to believe in what to believe, if they are real or not. She then was killed by her father, and even now in the morning, her friends just came by and just went inside being dumb characters. Of course, they're worried, but they forgot about the what they tell her, and they didn't know what the warning was, or who knows, until the door closed behind them. Just like any horror movies would do, if someone just enter a building or a house, the door behind them just shuts. And that's how you end it right there. So, that's a really very well made movie. And... The characters are very well developed. And I like one of the characters who I really trusted about the warnings about. Cause, if you do something stupid, you'll regret it and you can't stop it. Because it's your problem, not mine. So yeah, that's all I got for this review, folks. And Emerald Productions, Dark Films, you folks are amazing to create these Minecraft films. And I can't wait for more if you're going to like make another horror movie or something else. Or probably collab. Or um, collab one another to have your own ideas come together to make a huge film to be a thing. You know, like Emerald, Emerald, ah, 
<laughs> Emerald Productions and Dark Films worked together to make a huge movie. Like, Curse of Spring Chap was a thing to have those two work together. Hope something they could just work together to make a huge film. Who knows? Who knows what it's going to be? But I'm excited. I hope you enjoyed this, folks. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more, and hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. This is Lord of Flames here. I will see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.